This turns out to be quite the learning process. I'm still on coat one for most of these. Watched hours of YouTube videos. I watch it, I get super confident, I come down here, I make a giant mess. You know, we'll see. Coat two is done under the stairs. We're gonna hit the rest of it tomorrow once we finish this up tonight. This is precisely why in episode one of this DIY basement renovation, I said I did not want to do drywall. We're not going to put up any drywall. That's just too cumbersome of a project. I don't feel like doing that. And it's more than we need, really. Right. No, oh, that's right. And here we are doing it. I didn't want to do it because of this and then sanding this and then priming this is why I wanted to use a panel board. Today is an exciting day. I just got back from like my thousandth trip to Home Depot. I picked up the baseboards and the wood for our faux shiplap project. I even got the stair treads and some odds and ends we needed. I think we're actually gonna start painting today and putting up those baseboards. Like, I can't wait to show you how awesome this project looks right now. So I think I'm on like day one billion of this project. The drywall is almost finished. It was very difficult. My first time doing extensive drywall and taping. I have three, or three to four coats on most seams. Luckily the light doesn't change in here so it'll hide all my mistakes. I think I'd give myself a solid C or C minus but it's my first time and it's almost done. So I'm just gonna finish up, do some last minute touch up sanding we're gonna sweep it up, clean up everything, and we're gonna go get the primer and start painting these walls. Hey y'all, it's prime time. Literally, it's time to prime the walls. We've been working forever trying to get them sanded and mudded and sanded again and sanded and mudded. Then we're finally getting ready to put some paint on there. And then hopefully they don't look terrible. So we're feeling pretty good about it. I mean, check this place out. Now that we are a few months into this project, I wanted to walk through our plans for the space and how it's all gonna come together in the next couple weeks. So behind me here is our first shot that we're gonna be setting up, our first scene uh, or setting. For this space, we'll be filming our podcast and it'll also be our main vlogging shot. We wanted to have a nice light backdrop and so we decided to go with a faux shiplap wall to provide some interest. We're going to be painting this white and we selected the ultra pure white, which is the base paint from Home Depot, so that it wasn't too blue or too yellow in our shots. And we also chose a matte or a flat finish so that there wouldn't be a lot of reflection in the backdrop itself. We needed a space where we could both sit and have a conversation, so we chose a chair that uh, one of us could sit in. And this chair is actually a mid-century modern style. It felt like it would be fun and funky, and we actually chose this in a pop of color in a deep blue. This will provide a lot of contrast on the white backdrop, and it will also be a little bit fun. We then chose a nice two-seater uh, love seat, and this is in a light gray. This will be mostly used for our vlogging, for the two of us to sit together, and we like to choose things in light gray because it allows us a lot of variety of how we can use it. We feel like this will look nice on the white backdrop of the shiplap, but it'll also look great in our second shot, which I'll talk about in a second. In addition to that, we knew we needed some lamps. We wanted to have some practical lighting within the space so that there's some contextual lighting there providing a good scene. We needed to bring some color and life to the space. Because we're in the basement, we have no windows, so we had to choose some artificial plants, but this allows us to create some color and just bring some life to everything. So we chose a tall fiddle leaf fig plant that'll bring some height to the backdrop. And then we also chose a few others that we can use on our shelves or on the end table. We also chose some cool industrial end tables. These were in black and they have some metal uh, finish to them. So we feel like these will look really cool in the space and provide us some tabletops to put some other items on to really build the scene. Then behind me here is going to be our second shot. For this shot, we wanted to provide some contrast to the other. And so we decided to go with a dark 
base uh, backdrop paint. This paint we actually decided to repurpose from our old shooting space and it's a deep, deep blue color, almost black. It's actually called Ink Black. And we got this from Bear at Home Depot. And this is going to be where we shoot most of our tutorials or unboxing videos, anything where we might need a desk. So Pete looked online and found on Amazon an adjustable sit to stand desk that we could put our own top on. And so we decided to repurpose an old butcher block that we had as the surface for the desk. In addition to that, we got casters so that those casters allow us to roll the desk in and out of the space, making it super functional for us. In the backdrop, we wanted to add a, a little bit of contrast, and so we found a white shelf, which is actually this fun geometric pattern, which we felt like would provide some cool visual interest for the backdrop. It'll pop nicely on the dark wall, and we'll be able to put some fun plants on there and other items to add some visual interest. If you remember earlier, we were sure that we were going to actually drywall this space. Some of this had started with the drywall process. We thought maybe we'll do those with drywall, but we really wanted to avoid it. And then when we looked for, um, you know, panel boards or something that we could put up instead of drywall, we just weren't happy with what we found. And we realized we just needed to bite the bullet and do the drywall despite all of the sanding and mudding that we weren't too excited about. But Pete did an amazing job. You can obviously see the seams here. We did not do those because we're doing the shiplap wall, so don't judge. But all of this stuff Pete has done and primed it and we are ready for paint. Um, this side we actually already painted because we had some leftover paint from our bedroom and since we're not shooting there, it didn't really matter what the color was, although I do really like the color. And now it is on to the studio spaces as we wait for the furniture to come in. It's a race. Can we finish the project before the furniture gets here? So now that the walls are all done and it's been sanded in here and it's been cleaned, I'm going to install our vent right here so we can start getting heat in here. Luckily, since we've insulated and put the drywall up, it is already a lot warmer just leaving the door open from the other room. So I have a feeling that once we open this vent up and put the vent in, it's going to be nice and toasty down here for when we start filming. So that's what I'm going to do today and uh, hopefully it goes smooth. Again, the pleasure of putting the final coat on the trim and the doors and the beautiful poles that we have holding up our house. And Pete did all the uh, the tough work of starting it, but I get to put on the money coat, which is the exciting part. Somebody help me, please. I figured by having one of these rectangular pencils, I would just get smarter at doing this stuff, but so far, not so good. I'm good at painting though, check that out. Mm. So That looks awesome. I mean, this should be simple, just 45 degree angles, but. Yeah, well we've lined out a bunch of the walls so far. We did it! Yeah. Sort of. Well, we did do it. My walls aren't the straightest. Oh man, how does it feel? Well, you know, it was a tough battle. We fought hard. We came into this week, we knew it would be a challenge. We studied, we studied, we practiced. We did what the coach told us to do. You know, we had to use our, show some adversity out there. A lot of heart, it's a team win. At the end of the day, it was ugly, but we got it done. Got a few more, not too many problems. We're using the 
The old treads is the new risers. We're sanding them down, putting them up. Got a couple touch-ups in the paint to do, but you know. A cup of cotton. Cup is cotton. It's really loud in this small area, so I'm wearing my protective ear goggles. Awesome to finish the stairs today and also to get this package, the first package in from all the furniture that we ordered, so. It's a lamp. Well, right now it's pieces of a lamp. And that calls for the almighty Mr. Allen. The stairs are finally complete. We're very excited with how they came out. I can't believe this basement project is nearing an end, but we still have that giant shiplap project to do. So check back in the next week or two. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and be sure to hit the bell so you'll be notified when we post new videos. Catch you later. What does Elmo teach us to do when we learn something new, Peter? Happy, happy dance dance. Happy, happy <laughs> dance dance. Been watching Elmo. I'm gonna get this right this time. I quit.